Hi, I'm Miriam Manzo, and this is MMI Design. Welcome back to my channel, and welcome to New York. We spent this past weekend in Manhattan doing the final stylings of our Upper West Side condo. I thought it might be fun to take you sourcing with us and to see some of the places I like to go to for inspiration. And be sure to watch till the end where we reveal our shopping haul from CB2. Our first stop, breakfast at Le Mercerie and a quick tour at my favorite shop, Roman and Williams Guild. We're at one of my favorite establishments in Soho, New York. La Mercerie is a both restaurant and a home decor store. And this is the lower level. I've actually never been here, um, but I want to show you around because there's some great ideas for your personal homes um, to be um, taken from their design down here. I'm pretty sure what you see behind me is used for private dining. But again, I want to take you through because the details are amazing. So this is an area, if you have a small butler pantry, um, that can be utilized in a home scenario. So first of all, we have, again, all the marbles in the shop are honed. We all know how much I loved honed marbles. We have this little brass sink moment. Um, and then just these glass shelves. I mean, these are so simple to find. Even Home Depot carries them as a way to display glasses so that they're easily accessible. And then I wanna talk about the bookcases. So I love the way they've shown the books facing. So this is great for your home bookshelves. Um, as a way to display favorite books. So it's actually, there's nothing behind that, but rather than all the books lined up so that the spine shows, this is a beautiful uh, way to display special books. And then you can see where they've mixed objects uh, in the bookshelves so that it's not book heavy. And there's a few details in the private dining room behind me that I'd like to talk about. The first, of course, are these beautiful metal doors. Now, this can easily, this look can be achieved with wood, just painting it in a high gloss back, black to give it the look of metal. And then you can see this little detail here for the uh, knob. And these are unlacquered brass, which means that there's no finish on them. So it's a live finish. So what's going to happen is this brass is actually going to age and tarnish um, and add to the beauty of the metal. Come on through. I'm a sucker for a dining room that has a library feel to it. And what I love about the way they've designed these bookshelves is a the way they've layered the lighting. So up top, we start with a picture light. This is a great way to... Um, light up bookshelves and then we've all seen where we do these uh, rope lights but the interesting he thing here is they've actually put this little brass stopper um, in front of it so it really softens the light and you're not um, um, distracted by the glare of that rope light and then you can see they've just layered objects they've actually left some of the spaces empty which i kind of really like and then you still get full storage here down at the bottom but what really struck me about this bookshelf is that they've done this little moment with a sconce and rather than putting the sconce on the front um, of a pillar, they've recessed the whole um, lighting and then use this as a place to display branches. And I love the way that lightens the look of this bookcase and keeps interest. And then here you'll see the bottom only, they've done a um, antique mirror, which you know I love to back my cabinets with antique mirror. And then behind here, they've actually done the most beautiful velvet. Um, adds texture to the back, uh, softens it um, from it being a wood, and then it just um, absorbs that light and softens it even further. And if we continue down here, this wall is 
spectacular. So they've taken an antique mirror. They've had an artist come in and paint these cherry blossoms on the wall. And you can see they've taken it to the back wall to add depth. They've gone right over the trim. And as a matter of fact, they've even painted it on the mirror itself. And then they've added faux cherry blossom branches. So you really get that um, blur between what's real and what's faux here. Um, and I think it makes for a dramatic backdrop. And then I love the fact that they've added this very rustic log down at the bottom as opposed to a console table and then displayed really sculptural pieces on top of it as art. Uh, the other side of the room reflects the um, mirror of what was on that side. But what's interesting here is how, again, how they did the light. There are no pot lights in this room. They've hung the fixtures in the walkways as opposed to over the table. And the table is softly lit by um, track lights, which in the 90s and yeah, 80s, I guess, track lights wound up getting a bad rap for the way they were done. But here it just adds this beautiful soft glow to this spectacular dining table. And I love the way if you look at the end, they've left that without a chair. Um, there is no head here. It's just a group of people who each get uh, prominence at the table. Um, and again, it's about the layers of lighting that makes this room so beautiful, as well as the uh, mix of materials. And you can see even the woods, they don't match, they complement. So we don't love sets at MMI Design, as you know. This is a great way um, to really get a look that won't date. And now let's take a look at upstairs, which is the retail level, where they've got some of the most beautiful decor, accessories, and furniture. Decor stores are a great opportunity to give you ideas on how to lay out your own furniture. If you see here, there's one couch used with a chair and then several benches surrounding the coffee table. Crystals are a perennial favorite and I love these little spotlights that really highlight your special pieces. A quick stop at TJ Maxx where we picked up a mirror which you'll see in our tour of the condo as well as a few small accessories. You're going to see as we tour the apartment that a good portion of the furniture was originally ordered from CB2. So while we were down there, I decided to stop by the store in Soho where we found a bunch of accessories that we needed to finish up the project. Stay tuned till the end and we'll show you what we bought. We were lucky enough to be invited with our client to the upper level of Chrome Hearts to have a look at their furniture. In the vicinity of our project are the campuses of Columbia University, so we decided to stop by to see the beauty and for historical inspiration. We ended the day enjoying a beautiful dinner with our client at the Baccarat Hotel. We're back at the condo and after a quick cup of tea, I'm going to show you what we've purchased at our um, little haul today at CB2. So we picked up just a few items that I thought were essentials um, for the client. Um, and then as we do the tour later on, I'll show you how we've used them and where we've placed them. Let's start. So opening the bags and boxes is going to be a bit of a surprise for me because we didn't watch them pack. So having walked around the apartment, I did notice the client was missing um, pieces in his bathroom. So cups are one of the things I really like in a bathroom. Um, both in a guest and a primary. They're great not only for holding your toothbrush and toothpaste, but as a guest, I like to put my makeup brushes in here um, when I'm visiting. And then they can also be used for cotton balls, for Q-tips, for basically bathroom essentials. So we bought some of these beautiful marble cup holders that the colors are just perfect in this condo.
coasters, another essential. I have tons of these spread out around my house. Um, We've got marble tables here, whether you've got wood, it doesn't really matter. I like them in the bedrooms, I like them in the living room, I like them in the dining room, I, I keep them everywhere. I think they're number one essential. And then we picked up this vase, you're going to see we're going to use this in the foyer. So I love the interesting texture, I like to stack vases, um, this is going to be really pretty. So for the primary, we went a little bit different with our bathroom accessories. And then on our shelves that we put up, we've established a little bar area. So we bought these beautiful martini glasses and this crystal decanter. And we're going to dress up those shelves. Most amazing onyx accessory. Love this. up a couple of new dishes for the homeowner. Now you've heard me say before that trays are essential. I love using them everywhere. So this is actually going to be used with our cups on the back of the toilet seat. Got more coasters here. That's another tray going with our soap pump and cup. And that's what that's going to look like in our foyer. Again, another tray. So this one's gonna go here behind me. What I love about this one is it's actually got a leather insert. So with the oil bottles and salt and spills, that's gonna be really easy to clean. And I like to corral everything together by the stove. And for those who like bar soap, that's going to go there. And finally, this beautiful marble garbage can for the powder room. And that's it. So we're going to spread these things out and we'll come back in a bit for the tour. See you soon. Thanks for joining us today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And in the comments below, let us know how we're doing and what you'd like to see. I'm Miriam Manzo.